know, I, ju I just had someone ask me the other day, is, you know, it's, it destroys nutrients too, but isn't it the same as cooking? It's not. It's different. But it's definitely, it's a process. You know, I mean, let me make it, good. people say, well, that's not, the juicing's not processing food. Bl blending's not, yes, it is. Here's what unprocessed food looks like. It looks like a whole banana or a whole orange or a whole apple. That's unprocessed food. That's what optimal food is. That's what we're designing to eat. When we do anything to it, we're changing it in various ways. When we freeze something, what happens is we freeze a fruit. Now, bananas are less effective, but they're still effective. Have you ever frozen a banana and then have it thaw out, not, not run it through the machine first, but just have it thaw out on the counter? Did you want to eat it? Why not? It's all slimy and soggy and gross and limp and yucky. And you know why? Because even a banana, which is pretty low in water content for a fresh fruit, I mean, it's, it's high compared to, say, a Twinkie or a white bread, but it's low compared to most fresh fruits. Even a banana is 75% water. And when you freeze water, you form ice. And ice, when you freeze water, it expands. Okay? You know how you break, the, the pipes in your house can break? when they freeze. That's because ice is, it expands. Ice is, it takes up more volume than water. So when you freeze fruit, you form ice crystals which expand and they burst the cell membranes of the cells. Mm -hmm. And then when that food thaws out, you oxidize most of the nutrients. Mm -hmm. They're no longer protected inside their perfect little cells. Okay, you've burst all the cell membranes and you now have something that is far less optimal than a fresh fresh piece of fruit. But there's also some damage in refrigeration. Sure. Um, there may be some damage in refrigeration. Yeah. Um, you, by the way, if you, if you uh, go in our kitchen here, which you won't be doing, probably you might be doing, but that was, that's, that's staff space. But what you would see is actually a whole bunch of wilted lettuce, because I buy lettuce every week and I don't eat very much of it, and I'm throwing it away later. Uh, and it usually stays there until one of the housekeepers finally has the nerve to go in there and deal with them all, because I don't do that. Um, but what you'll find is almost nothing else in the refrigerator, okay, because my fruit doesn't go in the refrigerator unless it's been cut. Now, if we cut, at the end of the evening yesterday, we had a papaya that wasn't fully consumed, because you didn't eat it all. We had some pieces left over. They go into the refrigerator. And they, they usually, usually the protocols, they stay in the refrigerator three or four days, and they get thrown away. It's a holding place for the compost. Um, they go in the refrigerator and I say to my staff, do you want this? Because I don't eat cold food and I don't serve it to my guests. Um, but, you know, we protect it until somebody who might want to eat it eats it or it gets composted. Uh, my fresh fruit is kept at room temperature on shelves designed to hold fresh fruit. I don't refrigerate most of it because it's always better to eat things at room temperature. Now, if something is overripe, and you want to slow down the ripening process, you can refrigerate it. And there's not too much damage. But well, the best is fresh food at room temperature. Always. Because you don't like a lot of fresh food and stuff, remember? We, um, every year, like, um, we always like layers and layers of blackberries. And we put them in the freezer for that one. But I think that's just because it's like not really a half fashion or anything. Actually, really, just really fish it out. You know, you, you've asked an important question. Um, I live in a place where there isn't much fresh fruit most of the year, so when it's available, I pick a lot of it and freeze it and store it and eat it over the winter. You know, if I were you, I would probably occasionally over the winter enjoy maybe a you know, frozen. Blackberry ice cream with blackberries and bananas mixed together, or an occasional smoothie with some frozen blackberries. But I wouldn't make them a staple food because the fact that they've been frozen means they are far less nutritious than whole foods. So, I mean, I found, and I've, I've been, I've spoken in London many times, probably seven or eight times. I find, you know, it's, I mean, it's one of the biggest cities in the world. You can get pretty much anything, and it's not too bad. The quality, it's not the best, but it's not too bad. So. I would go to London or, you know, wherever, I mean, if I'm going to stay in the UK, I'm going to be someplace where I've got access to organic produce year-round, and I'd get the best I could, and I'd eat whatever was as fresh as possible most of the year, and I wouldn't live on, on frozen stuff. You know, what I would do if I were you, I mean, 
In my last location in the U.S., we had a lot of wild wine berries. They're in the raspberry family. They're amazingly delicious. We had a whole bunch of them. And what I would do is when there were wine berries, I'd eat a lot of wine berries. When we had them fresh, I'd be eating them. You know, I'd have meals where I'd have these giant bowls of, of berries. And that's all I'd eat. But I would eat most of my, my berries when they were fresh. And most of my apples when they were fresh. And, you know, and then I'd be looking to get whatever I could from wherever I, I needed to, uh, as long as it was fresh and as fresh as possible during the times when there's not much available locally. Um, and I would seriously consider, if I were you, because if I were me, I would have already done this, I would move. I live here because I value my health and I want fresh fruit all year long. I want high quality stuff. So that's one of the primary reasons I live in the tropics is because I can pick fruit all the time. So, you know, I'd say to anybody, if you really care about your health, it's not just fruit. You probably have a hard time getting any real vitamin D most of the year. I know you do. Okay? It's very important for your health. It's critically important for your health in general. 